गुड मॉर्निंग दिस पॉडकास्ट इज रिकॉर्डेड ऑन सिक्स सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड दिस इज सत्या प्रसून फ्रॉम सेंटर फॉर लॉ एंड पॉलिसी रिसर्च बैंगलोर इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सी एल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑब्जर्वर to track high impactful cases supreme court observer is a non partisan effort to make the work of supreme court intelligible and easily accessible to anyone interested in indian public affairs today i'll talk about a case tahseen punawala versus union of india which is before the supreme court this relates to the issue this relates to the issue of cow vigilantism there seems to be a new wave of violence unleashed by mobs of self proclaimed gau rakshaks or cow vigilantes across the country the incidents of cow vigilantes who are private citizens resorting to violence against people who they suspect of carrying or consuming beef is on the rise it started with lynching of a clerk in dadri over alleged beef consumption then hanging of two men in jharkhand by, by cow vigilantes flogging of dalits in una and recently lynching of pehlu khan in alwar on suspicion of smuggling cow these are few of the numerous incidents where cow vigilantes have used violence as a resort distressed by the increasing incidents of cow vigilantism in the country three individuals martin mcwen a dalit rights activist mohan bhai hamir bhai bidwa an alleged victim of such violence and tahseen punawala an activist filed the writ petition in the supreme court in august 2016 asking the center to take action against so called cow vigilantes and specifically the petitioners challenged the provision of cow protection legislations of six states rajasthan uttar pradesh maharashtra gujarat jharkhand and karnataka which give legitimacy to cow vigilantes the provisions which have been challenged prohibit any legal action against persons for act for actions done in good faith under the law for instance section 13 of the maharashtra animal preservation act 1976 reads that no suit prosecution or other legal proceedings shall be instituted against any person for anything which is in good faith or intended to be done under this act or the rules made there under the petitioners have compared cow vigilantes to the disbanded salwa judum a civilian vigilante group formed by chatisgarh government which armed civilians to kill naxalites in 2011 in case of nandini sundar versus union of india the supreme court had held that the appointment of salwa judum under chatisgarh police act 2017 is unconstitutional on april 7 2017 the three judge bench headed by chief justice deepak mishra justice amitav roy and justice am khanvilkar issued notice to the center and the six states to respond to the writ petition filed by the petitioners this case will decide if cow vigilantes can be given any legitimacy under the state law the main legal issue is whether the provision of cow protection legislations of six states which give immunity to actions of civilians acting in good faith is constitutional this issue is very significant because while the vigilantism of any sort is a social evil but the state providing legitimacy to such vigilantism is akin to state endorsing the violence perpetrated by the private citizens there is a hearing today on the matter and will keep you updated on the subsequent proceedings with regard to the case thank you